Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. <laughs> but you can't see old Vinny, but you can see me in the corner. You guys see my big face up there? So we have stuck my face in the corner this time. We're going to see how you guys like that. And we put it way up in the top corner so he wouldn't get in your way, hopefully, as I'm showing stuff. But we thought it might be fun to every now and then, because in these kind of shows when we kind of sometimes sit back and just chat, it might be fun to see faces. So, Amanda, what? you wear everyone's hat and you do an, oh, you wear everyone's hat and you do a great job at it. That's what was just said here. Amanda, you are the best. You're missing this. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was doing behind the scenes stuff. You're missing this. It's everywhere. You're like, okay, so she's going back to her station so she can see all your comments. All right, let's do some crafter after goodies. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna jump down. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to have to remember they can see me because I won't look up at them. Oh, well. I'll look at you, which is my habit. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at him or I'm looking Just at the Just remember, floor. don't make an ugly face at me I when go. I say something wrong. I went swimming. Oh, I'm going to make faces at you, I'm sure. That's going to be the problem the whole day. I'm going to be like, look, if I do this, <laughs> that's not really my face. It's close. Oh, uh, it's worse than that. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, hold on. One more thing. Here I go. Back swimming. <laughs> I'm swimming. I can't show that either. Okay. Have y'all noticed I'm trying real hard? Like, okay, let me calm down. I'm trying real hard to stay focused today. I think you could probably tell it in my video. I was trying to just be very focused because I've listened to me a little bit. Like, I've heard my voice in the shop. See, I'm looking at Vince. I've heard my voice when they're listening to the videos and trying to answer questions. And I'm just like, you're annoying. So I'm trying to be a little more subdued. It's not me, though. It's not working for me. So anyway, if that's what, if I sound a little, I'm trying to. I got to show y'all these. I'm trying to keep the, uh, the names out. So these are Barb Thompson. Look at these. These are from the May May Cruise. These are some ATCs. Um, are both of these Barbs? Yes. Look at them. So she's written on them. In this orientation on the back, um, we miss showing these. One is mine and one is Amanda's. She gave me a note about that. That's what she was telling me. Okay, so these are gorgeous. And Barb Thompson is who did my necklace, by the way, because she does paint pouring. So she did paint pouring in the pendant I showed you last week, and she did this paint pouring here. And look how pretty it is. I'm trying to remember. Look at the camera. Camera's up there. There I am. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, I think you could put these in any orientation that you wanted to. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and there's some bling on there. Is that bling or is that paint? That's paint dots. That's cool. Now, I'm going to see if you see it. Do you guys ever play art game when you watch Cinnamon Cooney? I'm going to see if you see it. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I left you wide open for that one. Yeah, I know. Do you see what I see? Please be more specific. <laughs> There it is. Who sees it? Oh, Julie's still singing the new May May Gang birthday song. Do you remember it? Yeah. Happy, 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 happy birthday, birthday from We're the... so glad you came. Oh, see, we got to write it happy down. Happy birthday from the May May, May, May Gang. Gang. That's cute. I like it. We really don't need to write it down. Oh, someone sees a mermaid. That's how I see. We do need to write it down. I don't see a mermaid. Oh, a giraffe tongue. That's very specific. A bulldog. Someone sees a dog. I see a hippopotamus. This looks like a hippopotamus to me with water running across its neck or a very stylish scarf. <laughs> You're giving me nothing today. I'm that was so of, good. <laughs> I am staying out of your craziness. If you don't, you know what I'm going to do next week? I'm going to make Jordan put your face over there oh so they can see Lord. you ignore me. No. So this is a hippopotamus with a very stylish scarf. <laughs> I am trying to monitor the chat. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I love it. Anyway, those are ATs. That's okay. Those are Lita two says she of sees a mermaid kissing a bird. Oh, I, oh, I can see. Oh, yeah, I can see that. The silver was the bird. I see that. Two fish kissing. We had a visitor this week. Her name is Brenda. I hope I say your name right because I didn't ask you. Shay, Brenda Shay. Look at these cards she brought in for us to hang on our wall. She brought these with her. <laughs> not Vinny Circus, not his monkeys. That's right. I don't Thank know. you so much, Kim. I don't know. We're pretty much Vinny and the hens around here. Check this out. This is gorgeous. This is burlap, and she inked the burlap to make it the color she wanted it. We talked about it. it was so It's so pretty. This is a note <laughs> card. We're going to hang this up to show her art. And look at this one. You guys are going to love this one, and I already hear what you're going to say to me. I already hear you. So you untie the bow and open the card. And let me, there we go. You open the card and look. Isn't it pretty? 
It's really striking. It's simpler than you think. It's really striking. And it, and part of the reason is because she really knows how to use color and pattern. She really has a good eye for that. Because you see she has pattern here, 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 and color. And she really has a good eye for that. I think that is really uh, where some people struggle is knowing exactly where to place things. But that's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Brenda. Those are beautiful cards. Here's some more cards. What does this one say? This is a pretty envelope. I want to show that. Ooh, I want to show this envelope. Look at the back. I can't show the front. Look at that. She stamped it. It's so pretty. And what is this? Um, this card. Oh, it's a never ending card and a letter. I'm going to see if, what does this say? This one says I can read out loud, but it's really a long letter. Hold on a second. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. I freaked out a little bit. Okay. Look at this never ending. I mean, never ending. This is an impossible card. My brain. This is an impossible card. And the front says, May May and Vinny. Look how cute this is. And it says, I love Alabama. Look how cute this is. She did a great job on this card. I love that. Did she put the magic words roll tight on there? No, anymore? you mean the bad words. Oh. And it says, I really enjoy your videos. And I wanted you to know when I received an order from a company, I don't remember which one, uh, but they sent me two of one stamp. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. And the first person I thought of was you because you guys do religious show as well. And it's great. I'm sending you the extra stamp. So she sent me an extra stamp. Okay, here it is. Hold on. And it is, oh, it's Footprints in the Sand. Isn't that pretty? The card is made of lightweight cardstock and I was going to add to it. So I didn't want it heavy. Well, it still turned out light, but I just bought a one sheet oh i bought one sheet to make you a card i learned from you about how to make this card i thank you for making and teaching a video for i couldn't afford a class or classes i'm 71 i'll be 72 on my birthday on the 2nd of march oh she's her birthday's passed Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. We're, We're so, so glad you came. came. Happy, 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 happy birthday, birthday from, from the May May gang. gang. Hey. <laughs> Did we just add hey? <laughs> Have we been doing hey? No, I added that for effect. <laughs> it says, and I found you a few and a few others as well. Um, I was, oh, I was sold lock, stock, and barrel. Take care and may God bless you and yours. Pat from Oklahoma. Thank you, Pat from Oklahoma. I hope you enjoyed that song. That I put in quotes and use lightly. Uh, Elise wants to know when our birthdays are. My man and I were born one week apart. One week and nine years. I want to make sure we point that out. Is yes. it nine or eight? Nine. One week and nine years apart. Make sure you keep the nine years in there. It's important. Y'all know why it's important. I'm trying to not put um, addresses in any camera that's facing me today. I'm really struggling. So this one is from Karen Zilke. Look at this. Uh, Dorbs. Oh, wait. Oh, it's an easel card. I was like, the writing makes me think it's upside down, but it's an easel. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look how she did this. So inside, this is the Tag Builder stamp. In there is the gingerbread, uh, Ginger Fred stamp. Out here are candies from Ginger Fred the pastry bag, the lollipops, the gumdrops all around it. She did a sentiment from it. And look, she even put them in here. They're so cute. And she wrote a note. Let me make sure I can read it. I'm just trying to stay out of cameras because I got too many. Let's see. Where does it go? It starts here. Um, she said, this is smart. You guys should do this. This is really smart. It says, I shrunk. I shrunk. I what? <laughs> what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? It says, I shrunk your ginger Fred stamp on my printer by 60%. That's smart. These ginger people live on East Sugar Tree Lane. and No snow, just sugar. Where else would they live? Mr. Ginger must do some home repairs today. That's why he's in the frosting tube. Oh, he has the frosting tube. Miss Ginger is going to plant her little um, sucker bush. And... <laughs> The words are not my thing today. And hope it grows well in its new location. Little Ginger loves to climb trees, swing on the tire swing. Uh, love your teachings. You have helped me so much to improve my card making. Love to you and crew. Don't pick on poor Vinny. <laughs> That's the best line of the whole uh, card. Uh, the best line of the whole card is this one. He can't help it. Oh, well. That's it. From Karen Zilke in Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona. Hold on a second. I love that she has an entire story for this card. That's awesome. She made this card 
thinking of all of these things, and I love it. So the man, where's he at? He's right here. So see, he's got the piping bag in his hand because he has to do some home repairs today. Uh -huh. That's adorable. Just so adorable. And then look, she used our, um, what's the name of the new set? The sitting tree. She used sitting tree and took the tire swing for the baby who's in it. That's precious. I wish I had an imagination like that. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, Kathy Champion just had a birthday, March the 11th. Y'all going to make us sing this a lot, aren't you? No. We'll get it right eventually. I don't like that. We're so glad you came. Because they're not, I mean, they're here to the live show. But well, yeah, but you said it's like a restaurant. That's yeah. what they say. But can we're we, glad you can came. Can we change that line? Happy, happy birthday. You don't look a day older. <laughs> like that. that does not rhyme. Um, Happy, happy birthday. We got a super chat from Melinda. Somebody fix it for us. Nine, we'll, 99. You guys fix chat. it for us and we'll sing it. Thank you, Melinda. And by the way, I have to do the wave all by myself. I'll do the wave. You do the... I got two hands. I can do the wave. The Thank wild. you so much. You guys write our song and we'll sing it. I like from the May May Gang. I like that part. This card, again, trying to keep addresses out of the screen. March is the birthday month at our house. We call it March month, March Madness. March month. How about that? March this Madness. Joe's was on the 8th. Jared's is on the 15th. Josh is on. Uh, my dad's on the 21st. Josh is on the 25th. Where is Salisbury North SA internationally? What? Where's that from? AMCSA. Somebody tell me where that is. Because this was sent to us. Look at, well, I can show y'all this because it's my address. See that? Um, where is that? Salisbury North SA. Does she tell me in here? Just a moment. My May's yes. birthday is I'm sorry. May the third. She tells me, yes, May the third. She tells me it's from South Australia. Sorry, I should have read. Um, it says, "Dear May, please receive this card and God's blessings in your life." I'm a spirit-filled, baptized Christian, and hope you are too. I made this card for you and yours faithfully, Nina from South Australia. This is beautiful. I want to show y'all this. Very okay, cool. Look. Look, she put the she put the um, words to Amazing Grace, actually the sheet music to Amazing Grace. And look at the front. I love this. This is very cute. And yes, I am a spirit-filled, baptized Christian. Uh, Thank you. I'm glad Di you are too. Anna wants to know, should we put our ATC cards on the website or wait? Um, You can. There's nothing wrong with that. I think you can go ahead, don't you think? I don't think there's a problem with that. Um, Naomi, the nine ninety nine is a super chat, which is like a tip for the, uh, for us, uh, oh. from Melinda. Oh gosh, this is so sweet. Happy St. Patty's Day. Thanks for a great cruise. I'd go again in a minute from Donna. And, uh, it says, take note. I did some, I did some tearing for Brenda. Hold on. So when we were on the cruise, we fell in love with these cards that Donna made. Look at this. So this is a box. Do you see how this stands up? Like, so stand up. It's been in the envelope for a while. Hold on. Look how cute this is. And what's that back there? Oh, is that, it's glued in for looks? Yes, it's glued in. And look at the front. She colored this little girl. Isn't that precious? But look, she tore around the edges. That's so cute, Donna. She struggled with the whole tearing thing. She had a whole table of friends that struggled with tearing. That is so precious. I love how you did this. I can't wait to show Brenda. She's going to love it. She actually had some of these with her um, that she did. And I love this. Let me get this back opposite. There it goes. So it stands like that. I'm going to do it like this so you guys can see it. Isn't it cute? And it closes to fit in an A2 envelope. She's very, very smart. Thank you so much, Donna. I'd go again. Uh, would I go in a minute? I need a little more time. I'm just now recuperating. Are you just recuperating, Van? Probably so. From Joyce Lieb, this says, there's only one you. That's a good thing, I think. <laughs> I don't think the world can handle two of me, do you think? <laughs> Let me see what this says. Donna says, happy, happy birthday. Aren't you glad we sang happy, happy birthday from the Mama gang? That's super cute. Let's don't commit until we get some in and let's look at them because I want to make sure. Look, Meme, things to do. Dream, wish, hope, trust, love, create. Thanks for sharing your creative talent with me. Blessings, Joyce Lieb. I think it's Lieb. It might what about be if it said, day. happy, happy birthday. We're so sorry you had to hear us sing <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy birthday from your Mama gang. <laughs> We're so sorry, dear us sign. <laughs> You're hilarious. An ATC card is an artist trading card. Get in the microphone. I'm learning. Get in the microphone. Well, I had to. This card is from Ann Nault. 
says, May May and Vinny, thank you both for making a great vacation even better. Love in Christ and not the queen. And let me bow to her. And she knows why. <laughs> Anne was a hoot, man. Can I tell y'all? Oh, my gosh. Her whole sister group. First off, so Anne, this, there's so many stories. Y'all wanted to hear some stories today. So Anne and her sisters cruise together. Three of them craft together. One of them does not, but she was on the cruise with them. So when we did the um, lat hook class, yes, you heard me say we did lat hook on the cruise. Did I tell anybody that yet? We did lat hook on the cruise, which I have five in, sto- in the store. If you guys are interested in doing a lat hook with us, we have some. You'll have to call in to order them because I only have five. But um, we passed them out. Anne was like, I don't want to do this. And I was like, I understand. I understand. It's not everybody's cup of tea. It's no big deal. She took that back to her room and her other sister who doesn't craft with them started working on it and completed it before the cruise was over with. But that's not why Anne's the queen. So Anne's birthday actually didn't happen while they were on the ship. I don't think. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Anne. But it seems like her birthday was happening after they got off the ship. But they were all together, so they surprised her with like a birthday party while they were together. I'm pretty sure that's how that went. But um, they took her out and they dressed her in a sash and they got her a crown and they got her this big ring. Now, it was a big plastic ring. It was beautiful and it was so blingy. And every day we'd be like, the sun is going to blind me with that ring. Well, she wore that, I guess, every, every after her birthday party, she wore it everywhere she went. It was hilarious. Like to lunch, to dinner, she had it on every day. So we told you there was a little, um, there was actually two girls when we would come into breakfast or lunch every day that would sing to us and they would sing, yummy, yummy, thank, uh, washy, washy, because wash your hands. Uh, yummy, yummy for your tummy. Coffee, coffee, and so she would she would sing to us. Well, this particular girl decided that she that um Anne was not the princess that her crown and her sash said she was. She decided she was the queen. So she was she ranked up while she was on the cruise, and she wouldn't take that ring off, which is so funny because we went to one of the ports, and the next day she told me that somebody at a jewelry store in the port had um appraised it for her, and it was a certain kind of African diamond, like they named it. It was plastic, I and mean, it was oh, so yeah. she came funny up with all kind of different stuff. For it. She was hilarious. We had the best time with her and celebrating her birthday. Which I think is like coming, it's right here at us, I think. I don't remember exactly when, but so funny. So, so much fun. That was a story for you today. All right. She brought this. I guess that's what to show. So we have five of these. And if you order that, well, if we want more of them, we'll get them in the store. But we bought them for the trip because we thought it was a really fun thing that people could do together on the ship or, you know, in their free time or whatever. And a lot of people finished them while we're on the ship. But um, a lot of folks are posting pictures in our group, our cruise group now to show us that they finished. But if you would like to do one of these, we have five of these in stock and I do have some latch hooks. And if you would like to get them and you don't know how to do them, I'll do a video on the product parade showing you. And we can bring more of these in. The reason I did latch hook on the cruise, um, it was one of my classes. And the reason I did it is because everybody asked me, one of the, if I ever do a Q&A, one of the first questions I get is what's the first craft you remember doing? And honestly, the first craft I remember doing is light hook at my grandmother's house. And I remember we would go to, I always said, you know, Walmart, but it wasn't Walmart when I was a kid. We would go to like Woolworth or Kmart or what was the one downtown? Um, I think it was just called the Five and Dime or whatever. But whoever had these, instead of getting me coloring books or anything like that, she would always get me latch hooks so I could do it at her house when I was there. And I love doing it. So I thought it was fun to bring that back. And like I said, a lot of people finished it. I love this one. It's 12 by 12 when it's finished. So you can turn it into a pillow. I'm actually going to make it a rug so I can just step out of the shower and put my two feet down. <laughs> I told everybody I'm making it a rug and literally both of my feet would fit on it. And that's it. That's it. I'm so funny, man. Oh, yeah. you just so screaming if, it. Oh, I didn't say this. I probably did. If you want these, you'll have to call in. When we have five, we'll get them shipped to you that way. All what right. size is it? It finishes at 12 by 12. 12 by 12. It's, your piece is bigger than that when you start, but it, and it's super easy to do. Super easy. Speaking of the cruise, while we were on the cruise, we did this. This is a Diamond Dot Dove card, okay? You can see in the background of this card, see where the art glitter glue is showing through? We, this is the one we made in the shop. Actually, I should say this is the one Amanda made for the first time, never having done it before. She did that as a test to make sure it would work for everybody. And we decided to art glitter glue this down to our card because this is a card. Okay. 
but you can see it through because this is a mesh material. So if you're going to use one of these and put it on a card, you need to make sure you use sticky tape behind it and not your art glitter glue because sticky tape is what we used in the class and it didn't show through, but the art glitter glue will. So just to know that when you stick that down. But I think I'm showing you this because we also have a couple of these in store if you want to pick up this particular one, but we have this on order. Um, we've ordered, I think we ordered six or seven different designs, didn't we? Oh, I yeah. think it's six or seven, but these we have left over from the cruise. So if you want to pick those up, we have that, but not left over from the cruise. And what inspired us are the, or what that inspired us to bring this into the store. These are cool. These are three sparkle bracelets and I'm going to show y'all something you're not going to believe. Yesterday we sat Jordan and Caleb down at a table. Okay. And they completed these bracelets. They, in no time, and they came and showed us that they had done it. It's so easy to do. The adhesive is already on the bracelet. You don't have to do anything but place the beads. And what I love about these is they're small and you can do them quickly. It doesn't take you hours to do. Um, I have these that have come in. These are online in the store, so you don't have to call in for these. These are online. But if you call in for something else, we can add these to your order while you're doing it. You get a set of three. And in this particular set, you get the tiger, the zebra, and the... Um, is this... I think I said that wrong. What is this one? Is this cheetah? Yeah, I think this is cheetah because it has a little brown in it. See that little bit of brown? I have the zebras not put together because I'm going to do it on the product parade channel to show you how to do it. So be watching product parade next week. I'm going to have this video up for you guys to see me do the zebra. Um, hey, can I th I'm going to throw this at you and I'm not sure the answer. So I'm going to just going to ask you, uh, Joyce who made the card a while ago and she used a stamp set and someone, can she share the name of that stamp set? If it's not one of ours. Oh, I don't care what car. Oh, Yes, Joyce, you can share it. Um, this is how they fit. And I have a really big size wrist, but it has two snaps, so you can decide. Uh, Brenda and I were talking, and she said this is perfect for her granddaughter. This is a great craft for her granddaughter to do. And they're sturdy. They're nice. They're soft. They have air holes, so they won't be sweaty on your arm, which I like. And um, the ones we have coming... One of them has a weenie dog in it, so be on the lookout. I'm real excited for that one. So like I said, these are available in store. We have more of that coming. I'm not, unless you tell me in droves that you want the huge, big diamond dot stuff, I'm not going to get the big projects. We're just going to stick to the smaller stuff that can be used on cards or framed and hung on the wall. But those big ones, when we were in class, everybody was like, I don't think I'd finish a big one. I think I'd start it with gusto and then stop. But I love these kind of projects where if you just have an hour, you can it's put three together. Too, right? It's not leather. I don't know what this is. It's a soft... It looks like a cowhide type thing. It's not, though. Feel it. It's almost foamy. It's almost like a foam. I don't know. It's really yeah, soft, it's though. Like, put it on your hand and see how soft it feels. Look. You know, just put it on your arm. Not, you know what I'm saying. Feel yeah. it. It's real soft. It so is these very are soft. these are really cool, and we have those online. So much fun Yeah, they're not leather. This like a, it's almost like a foam kind of thing. And listen, they're so kind of easy to do. When you get these, you, you don't need any instructions. Honestly, little bit of instruction, but you literally, uh, let me see the zebra one so I can show them what it looks like without um, sequins on it. Here we go. So when you get it, this is what it looks like without sequins. You peel this plastic off and that reveals the sticky behind it. So the sticky is on the bracelet for you already. And you just follow the legend and you just use a tool that comes with it. Everything's included. Your sequins, everything. And you just place them down where it says. And then when you're done... You have your bracelet, but they saved the zebra for me to do in a video for you guys. So you don't need an instructional video for this, but I will have one next week on Product Parade. Go sign up, uh, go subscribe to Product Parade so you don't miss those. Those kind of things live over there better. It's May May's Product Parade, right? May May's Product Parade is the channel. I bet on they put YouTube. it in the description. So go sign up for that because that's where I do that kind of stuff. Um, was that it? What's in your pile over there? I don't. I, that couldn't. Oh, this. I forgot to use this today. <laughs> I'm sad. Okay. Happy accident. Couple things. I thought, and they may still have, I don't know, but I thought that we are discontinued this punch. I thought they did. And the reason I say they may still have is sometimes if the manufacturer, sometimes if the distributor has some in their warehouse, you can still get them for a little while, but not all the time. And I haven't done the research to be able to tell you for sure. But this was ordered by mistake. I think Vince thought this was our regular corner rounder, which was actually a happy accident because I've wanted one of these for a long time. So I grabbed this one. We only have 
Very yeah. few. Very few. And that may be, they may be, we'll check and see if we can get more. This punch does this edge. It does a scallop and a stub. I'm going to punch it and show you. I meant to use it on my picture. That's the reason I had it out today. I wanted to use it. But I'll show you what it does. So on one side, on this side, it does a scallop. So I'm just going to put this in and show you what that looks like. So there's the scallop edge. Let's see if it's better that way. Yeah. See that? And then on the opposite side, it does a stub like a ticket. And what I loved about that is how quick and easy we can make tickets. I just love that. Like watch. This little piece of paper. I think the stub is my favorite side. The scallop is cute. But watch this. For the front of a card to do a ticket, boom. That's cute, isn't it? Any size. Do I have another rectangle laying here? Yeah. Watch, any size, cut a rectangle. This is more of a square. It'll still work. Look how fast. If we can get these in, I want to get them. I love these. I think they're $24.99 or either $29.99. I can't remember for sure. Like I said, there was only 10, which makes me think. You guys know they discontinued a bunch of these back in the day. But this one was one I loved. I never got it. And so I don't know if they're bringing it back. Maybe they did. I don't know. But it was ordered by mistake, which was a happy accident because I'm happy about it. So that's it. This one is called the Corner Chomper Stub and Scallop. It's really good. If you're a Corner Chomper collector, you'll want to grab it. Um, what else over there? I think you got stuff right underneath there, that pile. No? Am I just being crazy? Mm-hmm. Mander, am I forgetting anything? I don't want to leave without doing Oh, anything. are you going to do those? Not today. I'm still doing some testing. Oh, interesting. Still doing some testing a lot. I found a product. I think I told y'all I found a product that I wanted to try, and I was waiting to get it in, and it came in today, and I didn't have time to test it. There's a couple things. I just want to be sure of it before I bring it to you guys. I did do a little trial. You want to see it? Not y'all. You can't see it. <laughs> I did a trial, but there's a couple. There's a little more work I want to do to learn how to teach it. It was pretty cool. So little more work I want to do. And then we'll we'll be ready for that. And I need the kitchen for it. And you were filming this morning, so I couldn't try it. Yeah. Uh, Vinny's Vittles will be back Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. Check it out. We're going to have Reuben Sliders. You're telling what you're doing. Yeah, it's very good. He's doing a, a, little, um, a little nod to St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, very little. A little nod. So he's doing Reuben slide, Sliders. But don't tell him this. There's another thing he's doing, which I think is really cute. My stepmother used to do this all the time. And I mean, she probably still does. I don't know. We haven't we haven't had lunch at her house or whatever. But when the kids were little, she would create this thing. And so he's going to show you all that too, just for fun. It's just cute. So Reuben sliders. Yep. And the little... The and little sour thing. cream and onion chips. Because <laughs> they kind of green. Pen. We were just trying to make it a little St. Patty's for you guys. I think it'll yeah. be cute. So I bet they're delicious. And they really were good. I bet they'll be delicious. Um, so I can't test it now. <laughs> Everybody's like, show it, show it. I can't, you know, it's okay for you guys to have a little mystery. I tell y'all everything else. It's okay. You'll live through it. You'll live through it. Um, all right. Is that, I just feel like we're forgetting something. I don't know of anything else. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Anybody have questions about the ATC swap we want to talk about real quick? Because this is not. You didn't want to do this, Oh, right? no, we don't have that yet. Y'all, there's so much I want to show y'all, but it's just our distributor is struggling so hard getting stuff out. As soon as it gets here, I got to have a sip of my drink. I will show y'all this that's waiting for me. <laughs> I guess I could have showed it here. Ever had one of these? They're heaven. I'm saving it to stare at it. Staring at it. Do we need to let Brian O'Sha O'Shaughnessy come in and clean up after I'm any time? Like, is this how we need to end before we have prayer? Do we always need to do this? <laughs> okay. It's like romper room. You know, they always had something like the last thing they did. So we're going to let Brian O'Shaughnessy clean up. And there we go. Oh, that's what I forgot. Somebody said I missed the clearance item. This is the only one I've got to show. We have a lot of clearance stuff. Do y'all want to see that stuff? Not, not right here. But I could do like, um, we had talked about, tell me what y'all think about this. I like to ask your opinion and stuff because I don't want you to think I, because I get a lot of grief about ideas I have sometimes. You know how those boutiques will take like clearance items and do Facebook live shows where you can say, I want that and they'll invoice you for it. 
we can do that. And we have a stack of clearance stuff. Would you guys like for us to do a boutique style clearance show where we where basically what would happen is it would be on our Facebook group. I think it would be. I think I could do it. I don't know if I could do it on YouTube, but Facebook's really set up for that. But I would show this and go, all right, guys, we have this many of these. They're on sale for $3.59 instead of $5.99. This is what it looks like. And we have this many. And so then if you want it, you would put in like three five nine me and then we would invoice you for it or something like that. Are you guys interested in that kind of thing? Somebody mentioned that. When was that mentioned? We were showing the store. We were doing a store tour and somebody said we should do boutique style closeouts. And we all got excited because we like that sort of thing. Like we enjoy those kind of shows. So if you'd like hey, it, we, we need do to remember it. Uh, Terry in our prayers. Terry Foshi Hawkins said, I would like to thank you for making my heart lighter. I also uh, asked for prayers for my family. My dad passed away three weeks ago, and I can't go home to California from Belgium for two more weeks. So we'll be praying for you, Terry. I know that's very, very difficult. We are very sorry to hear that. There's, I, I know you were reading that, but there's a lot of capital letters coming in. Do you see them? Yeah, people saying yes, yes, yes. We yes, will be yes. praying for um we'll be praying for every need today. We always say a prayer at the end for every need. So if you want to post that need, we won't specifically say it in our prayer, but God knows your needs, he knows your heart, and and we will pray for all the needs that are listed here. If you would like specific prayer, we've got some prayer warriors on our heart group. It's on Facebook. It's called Hide His Word in My Heart. You post your prayer over there, and I'm telling you, people hit their knees for you. Never haven't seen you before. They, It's amazing, the prayer group we have over there. So be sure to check that out if you need specific prayer. Several folks have said yes to the boutique tile sale thing, you know, Facebook thing. Okay. So I, I think that's what all the yeses are for. Uh, well, there were just, a, I, I thought I saw several questions in capital letters. They were going real quick at one point. I don't know if we had a Facebook, it went shh like that real quick on my screen, but I have a different screen. Uh, it says, people ask how many ATCs can they send? Great question. Let's sit on that for a second before, so look at other questions and hold on to them for me. Some, there's been some suggestions and things made. Here's the deal. Three works in our envelope. That's why we ask you to do three, okay? So when you send in three, you'd send in your postage for those three, depending on if you're U.S. or international. And that's just an easier way for us to maintain it. You got to remember, and, and um, this sounds a little, I don't want this to sound like, rude, like I'm trying to be rude, but remember, we have a, pr a fairly large viewership. So I really never know if these kind of things are going to be like 20 participants or 2000 participants. Like it, we have no idea how many people will participate. So it's hard for us to go, oh, we'll just roll with it and make changes as we go. We can't do that. We have to keep kind of pretty strict rules from the get-go in case we get a pretty good uh, participation. So that's why we went with three. It was suggested to me, which is a beautiful and wonderful idea, and I wish that I could do it, but it was suggested to me that I make an ATC and put in every one and send to you guys. I'm not going to be able to do that, I'm sure, just because of volume. Just the amount of people who've told me they're going to participate already kind of lets me know I wouldn't be able to do that. However, the videos I'm going to be making next week with the ATCs, all of the ones I make... I am going to put them randomly into envelopes, okay? That's kind of the best way I know how to do it. So it'll kind of be like a giveaway included. So randomly, you may open one and get a Maymay card. And the more I can get accomplished between now and the 30th, the more random we'll have. If we have five people participate, I probably can cover that. But if we have 3,500 people to participate, there's no way I can do that. But I thought that might be a fun way to say... Um, to say, you know, I'm trying, but I think all of you guys understand I can't promise that. And, you know, there was a time when I probably could have, but you guys are, our Crafty family is growing in leaps and bounds. And so it's really hard for me to, did you hear that weird sound? <laughs> it distracted me. It's really hard for me to promise that. So I don't want to promise it. But I do promise that any of them that I make next week, and I may try to do like, you know, 10 at a time or something on a video because I like to do things assembly line. So you may see me do that. And if I can do 10 at a time, that's 50. So then at least 50 people could get one, but I'll do my best. Okay. I'll do my best. Any other questions real quick? A uh, lot, a lot of questions on the, uh, ATC stuff. Like Let's try to cover them. One be? Let's really try to cover them. Cause okay, I want to get so those. How answers. thick can one be? The thickness doesn't scare me as much as anything hanging off the thing is this you don't 
you don't need to make them any thicker than a heavy chipboard. And even if you add some foam and some, why am I holding it up there? You have a camera here. <laughs> even if you add some foam and stuff like that, you're not, I mean, you know, don't make them more than a quarter inch thick just because that there's no need for that. Even the one I showed you, they're not in here right now, but the one I showed you that had the little painting on it, it was less than a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm not as worried about that as I am stuff hanging off the edge because these things get damaged in shipping and I don't want them to get damaged. Anytime there's something hanging off, it can get messed up. That's more my concern than thickness. Okay, do we send three different ATCs or three of one and three of another? You can send three of the same or you can mix them up. You can send three different ones. It doesn't matter because what will happen is when yours come in, we're going to put them randomly to go back out. However, we have a system. I promise you, me and Amanda and Amber, we all came together and had a meeting so we could figure out how to do this and make it easy on us. We will, we will double check when we mail them out by reading the back. There's nothing private on here. We'll read the back and we'll see that your name is here. We're going to make sure your name and your envelope are not the same so you won't get yours back. That's how we're going to do it. Now, you'll get three random ones. There'll be three different ones. So if you, I think it'd be neat if everybody sent in three different ones, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. But um, we're going to make sure you don't get yours back. That's part of the plan. Got another one? Uh, can they send cash or do they have to send a money order? All right, look at my face. The post office discourages you putting cash in your envelope. Another one? <laughs> um, I left that very late. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. Did you get it? Okay. Um, While you're looking for those cards, I see that Jackie asked, do we need cards for card ministry? At this point right now, we're okay. We have a... We'll be sending out another quarter's worth of cards, y'all. You sent in so many over the holidays, so many. We'll be sending out another quarter's worth of cards to the ministries that we already support in probably in April, probably early April. After that, we may need to do another call. But right now, we're okay. And if you guys are interested in getting a card, the email to get a card from me is maymay at heart. No, sorry, stop. Rewind. The email is maymayheartcards at gmail.com. If you want to get a card from us, from our card ministry, email us there and say, I'd like to get a card, give us your address, and we'll get one in the mail to you. And who do they make the money order out to? You're going to make it out to Maymay Made It so we can put them into one pool in the account. But, and you don't know how this is going to work, because what, what, you didn't hear this part. You heard the other part. But if there is any postage left over, because I've already had people message me, and I knew you guys would because this is your heart. I've already had people saying I'm sending extra postage so other people who can't afford it can be covered. If we end up with extra money, and we are going to meticulously keep up with this, if we end up with extra money, anything extra is going to the shoe charity. Okay. So we can try to close that out in April. So we're doing a fundraiser um, with an organization to raise money to be able to supply one of our local schools with shoes for all the children in the school. And we only have to raise $5,000. We're, we're fairly close. So anything left will go toward that. We're going to try to close that out in April. All right. Um, Amanda put the link in for Tuesday's video where people can go watch that. Uh, Kathy, we prefer that we get money orders rather than checks or cash. It just would be. You can imagine. Our bank is going to have to put these into our account. A $3 check, a $5 check. Who knows how that might go? I don't know. I want to say this too. If you watch Tuesday's video, apparently in the editing, we left me saying something, which was, there's another thing I'm going to tell you about. I'll remind you in a second. That other thing is to not let things hang off. Don't stress. If you watch the video and you need anything answered, go to the description of the video and that'll answer it. Um, and I've answered it in the comments a whole bunch too, because a lot of people are asking, but that's what it was. The other rule is don't have anything hang off. Um, Lisa Rush asked, Lisa Rush asked, does she have to get a hotel room if she lives in Birmingham or can she just drive back and forth from Medicon? I would actually suggest you drive back and forth, me personally, but I want to say this, there will be a Thursday night and a Friday night event. There will be a Saturday afternoon event, but it'll be late, but Thursday night and Friday night will be late. So if you were to get a room, I would get one Thursday. And Friday, if if you don't, because when I say an event, they may not end till ten o'clock. But me personally, if I lived, 
So we're in Clanton. If I lived in Clanton to, to Hoover or even Vestavia maybe, and if I lived Clanton to Montgomery, I probably wouldn't get a room. Would you? No, I wouldn't. But we drive a lot. So if you're from the area, you might be used to that. Um, but also, let me mention this. Look at Airbnbs. And look if, I mean, and some of you guys might have friends that are coming. Look at getting an Airbnb. That's really smart to do that. Uh, those of you that have sent in requests for cards and haven't gotten one yet, uh, feel free to send in another request if you want to. Uh, it does. I mean, we got a lot of requests, so it could have gotten lost in the process, and we apologize if it did. But feel free to send in another request for one, and hopefully we can get one out to you. Sandy, Made it you, con. I see that Sandy re requested one over a year ago. More than likely, that got lost. You'll have to understand, we send these first class, and we have no way of tracking them. We, I think as of January, had gotten completely caught up on our... There was a time in the last few months we got completely caught up, on our end. So if you want one and hadn't got one, you need to send us another request. We don't mind. Send another request. Sorry. Yeah. Made it con is April the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of 2020, 2020. You're going to, um, you're going to hear more about that coming up real soon. We've got a couple of planning meetings. Um, you can't book a hotel room until April. We've been told you have to book within a year. So you can't book more than a year out. So you're going to hear more about that coming up really soon. Um, Could you give the email address for the card request? Maymayheartcards at gmail.com. Somebody has a question up top. Oh, if I send in nine, what was the question? Yes, if I send in nine, will I get nine back or three? You'll get nine back. You send in nine and you send in $3 per three for postage. So if you send in nine, you send if in nine dollars. In, in the States, if you send in nine, you send in nine dollars. If you're in the US, you send in nine, you send in fifteen dollars. I did, I didn't need your help. Fifteen dollars. Are you proud? Well, yeah, except for the fact that you said if you're in the US. <sighs> if it, if it's international, it's five dollars per set. If my brain and my three dollars do you realize in the United States. Do you realize if my brain and my mouth worked together, I could be unstoppable. Yeah. Connie, there's several towns. Clanton is the only city in our county that has rooms, hotel rooms, believe it or not. Uh, but just south of us is Prattville and Montgomery. Just north of us is Alabaster, um, Hoover, um, Calera. And I need to say know. something to y'all that's going to change your travel plans. And I, I will be making this very clear. There are no Ubers or taxis or any of that in our town. Like, if you, because I see that somebody's, fly, I see that Mary's flying into the airport, which I would fly into the Birmingham airport. Yes, definitely Birmingham. It'd be a lot cheaper than flying into Montgomery. But you're not going to be able to get travel from there to here. Like, we don't, we don't have that kind of stuff. Like, you probably could get an Uber, but it would cost you a fortune to come from Birmingham to Clanton. So, unless you have, tra unless you have um, transportation, this is this may not be the event for you. That doesn't mean there won't be events for you, but this one may not be it because we live in a town and where we're doing this is in a town that you're going to need a vehicle to get around in. You're going to need a vehicle to get to Walmart, to get your hotel room, to get to our store. Um, we won't have transportation. We are looking at, not for every day and for every move that you'll make, we're looking at hopefully being able to do like a shuttle from the event to the store, like once a day or something like that. We still don't even know if that's possible because I don't know if there's anything like that here. We haven't looked at it. That's what we would like to try to do. But this may not be the event for you. If you don't have transportation in Alabama while you're here, you might want to wait till our next event. Like if you can't rent a car, if yeah. you're flying in or something like that, you probably don't need to do that. You can rent a car uh, in Birmingham. I mean, there's even rental car places here in Clanton. Mm -hmm. But you still got to get here from wherever you're coming from. I just so. want to make it real clear. A lot of people will rent a car. I would totally go to the <laughs> Vince knows. I would go to this event and I would rent a car and I would have a great time and I'd be good. But I just want to make that clear. It'll sound like I'm discouraging people. I'm not. I just want you to know um, the location is easy to get to. Once you get to Clinton, there's no traffic. There's, you know. Now, Carol said that you need to eat the Reese's because it will help your mouth and brain function together. It's probably true. <laughs> How long is the drive from Dallas? I can tell you it should be 12 hours, but it, it takes us 15 to 16. 
it's really about a 10 hour drive if you can drive it that fast but typically it takes us about 12 hours because we stop a lot actually judy hold on let me not jump you can get a rental car at the airport you sure can the event we're talking about is called Made It Con, and this is an event we put on. It will be April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of 2020, not next month, but the year after. And it's going to be in our town, which is in Clanton, Alabama. It's our hometown, and um, that's what we're talking about. We'll give There'll be more information coming. There'll be full videos dedicated to it. I won't, I won't give that information in a setting like this because people will miss it because a lot of people don't watch the after show, which I totally understand. But I will make sure there's dedicated videos to all that stuff. Um, there was another question. There is a rental car, there is Enterprise Car Rental here. Is there or will there be an email list to join to get info on the event? Yes. Um, more information on that in our, in our actual video we put up. Uh, or carpool. That's another thing. We're going to try to put together a way for you guys to communicate with each other because I think that'll help if we kind of help each other out. And Terrence says, full disclosure is awesome. I agree. I don't want you to be blindsided by anything. How many attendees do you have at the last Made It Con? Our last Made It Con had about 350 students. This one won't have that many simply because it'll sell out quicker than that. There's, We won't have that kind of space. We don't have that much space here. And uh, the classes will sell out quicker than that. And also, we only have 178 rooms in our entire county hotel-wise. So that's why I say don't discount an Airbnb a vacation rental by owner. Don't discount those things because a lot of times they're cheaper anyway. Um, good. She's already saved her money for um, Made It Con 2020. Okay. Yes, yeah, Cindy, there are a lot of beautiful campgrounds for, mobile, uh, for um, uh, travel trailers. So if you have one of those, if you uh, have there a rig, are a lot what, of nice places it's here. It's a rig. A rig. If a you camper. have a rig, we got a place for you to set it up. Hey, what does it matter? Okay, I have a question. No joke. So Peach Queen Campground has a um, billboard, and on it it says "pull through, pull through option" or something like that. Like you, you have. I guess their sites have a pull through option. Does that matter? Is that a thing? I don't even know what that is. I so. don't either. I wondered what that was. I wonder. Uh, if that Jemison means- does not have any hotel rooms that I know of. Not a hotel. I don't think so. I wonder if that means that you have the ability to pull in and pull out and not have to try to back up. Do you think that's what that means? It could be. Because I know Peach Queen can do that. I just wonder if that's what they're advertising. Uh, The tickets for the event, we don't know exactly what days those were going up for sale. But it will not be at least until April because you can't book a hotel room in our town more than a year in advance. Um, Jemison does have two campgrounds that i'm aware of they have one called manuka park which is really pretty it's a it's state, a state park. park um it's called manuka it's spelled just like it sounds and then there's one called peach queen and i know that's a good one my parents stay there a good bit and then they say it means you don't have to back up your camper you can pull through okay see i wondered if that's what they meant because look if i saw that on a billboard and i had to do it i'd be like i want that one that's a smart thing to advertise isn't it mm-hmm. i wondered what that meant um for large rigs Let's see. That's smart. All right, guys. And then Nyoka says, oh, it went away on mine. Can you see it? It was capitals and I missed it. There's something on the floor. I dropped something. Would y'all consider coming to the Mississippi Coast Coliseum in Biloxi? I'd totally go to Mississippi. Yeah. That's a good idea, Mississippi. The Coliseum, though? I don't know if we could do the Coliseum. Is that at the fairgrounds? Ours is at the fairgrounds, while I'm asking. Ours is usually at it. Uh, Bobby, there are lots of fishing spots around us. We have lots of lakes. No amusement parks here. I guess the closest That's one a, would be uh, Birmingham. I'm going to say uh, this to you guys, though. I want to tell you this. If you bring your family, there is, in Birmingham, we have McWayne Science Center, which is amazing. It's fun to go through. It's beautiful. We have um, the Botanical Gardens, which are gorgeous. And, and that time of year, they will be really pretty in April. Um, we have the Birmingham Zoo, the Birmingham Zoo. We have the Alabama theater, which you could see what's playing at that time. That's a lot of fun. We have Shakespeare festival in Montgomery. All these things are 45 minute drive either way. Yeah. Um, we have the Robert Trent, jo- Robert Trent Jones golf trail was only 30 minutes from us. It's incredible. It's a two course or three course. 
the one in Prattville has three courses. There's two in Birmingham, and the one in Birmingham, uh, the Ridge has two, and then the newest one where they play a lot of the major golf events is at Ross Creek. See that? Ross Bridge. Also, we have um, Top Golf. We have, um, I'm trying to think of all the stuff there is. There's a lot of, there there's a, a firing wa- range. There's a water park in um, Birmingham. In, outside of, just outside, outside of Birmingham. Um, we have a firing range. We have an outlet center that's about an hour away. Mm, yeah. Hour and 15 minutes away. Um, we have, I'm trying to think what we have. Think South. Birmingham is about, downtown Birmingham is going to be about 45 to 50 minutes from here. But you won't ever go downtown Birmingham unless you're going to Alabama Theater. You'll, you're, Birmingham, for us, is about 20 cities that make up Birmingham. But um, we also have, uh, what do we have South? Alabama Shakespeare Festival. I know we have more stuff. All the civil rights stuff is in Montgomery. We have historic stuff everywhere in Alabama. Yeah. We have incredible places for you to visit. Um, just in our town, we have some great shopping, believe it or not. We have rustic relics, which we'll have to go. I want to take a day trip. Like, okay, tell me if you're interested real quick. I want to contact the folks at Rustic Relics and ask if we can do a field trip there. Um, they won't care if we go shopping. I just want to warn them that we're coming because there'll be a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if we can get in and do some shopping there. Um, we might even have to go in two trips because there'd be so many of us. But it's so cool, you guys. I'd love to shop with you guys kind of where I shop in our area, which is Rustic Relics mostly. Oh, that's right. The new Safari Park in Montgomery. That's right. The new Safari Park. Good job. Amanda said that. That's right. We have that. Uh, Stevie, we don't have the information on the tickets yet or when they'll go on sale or how much they will be. Um, but... Um, Mary, as far as the weather in April, um, it's, you know, flip a coin. Good as ours. Flip a here's coin. The thing, here's what they say about Alabama, and it's absolutely the truth. If you get here and you don't like the weather, stick around an hour or two, it'll change. Yep. It, that is the truth since I was a kid. You may wake up to a morning that feels like fall and beautiful, and then in an hour. One day a month ago, we had four seasons in one day. It you sure remember seemed that? like it. We woke up to freezing. And then it was spring, and then it was fall, and then it was, no, it was burning up hot in the middle of the day, and then it was fall by the night. We literally had four seasons in one day. So right now, we're close to April. It's kind of tornado season. You never know. There's no, You can't really plan anything around tornado season because we can have tornadoes any time of the year around here now. Now, yeah. I mean, we have them all the time now. So. Oh, yeah. Taney Hill State Park is outside of Taney Hill. Too. Gosh, I haven't been there in years. Haven't been there in years. The weather's not like Florida. We're, you're, this is going to be shocking. We're more humid than Florida. Florida has a little more breeze than we do. Not significant enough in some cities. So some of you guys, I want to make sure I say this. Some of you guys in Florida have terrible, terrible humidity. Yes, you do. But if you, a lot of times the vacation cities you go to are coastal. And so a lot of times there's a breeze. Like, you agree with that. Like, a lot of times there's a breeze in the coastal cities you don't get in the inland cities, which makes sense. We're more like inland because we're landlocked, you know. We're, so you're not going to, there's not going to be like a breeze here. Uh, April, yes, but we don't have Florida weather. We have different weather. It's hard to describe. Um, the classes are going to be held at Jefferson State Community College at our convention center there. It's very, 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 very nice. Um, Beth Robinson said they went to Rustic Relics during open house and her girlfriend won 25 bucks. That's awesome. I, I think our humidity, now listen, I lived in Pensacola. Don't come at me, Florida. (laughs) But the humidity here for me is different than the humidity when I lived in Pensacola. Could also be because I was younger then and it didn't, didn't affect me the same. I mean, it could be that. I don't know, but it was different here. Um. See, Texas, that's the truth about Texas. You can get four seasons in one day in Texas oh, heck in a yeah. second. You sure and she can. She talked about it raining on one side of the street, not on the other. Yep. And it does that here. Yep. It literally does. So, all right, we're going to go. I feel like we're getting a little weather because the lights are flashing a little bit, unless I'm losing my mind. But I think I saw them flashing, which means we'll probably lose internet pretty soon anyway. So, all right, guys, we love y'all. We're going to have prayer together today. And um, I'm going to start reading comments because we need to. And um, you want to pray? I'll be glad to. I prayed last week because you weren't here. So if you want to pray. I'll do it. Let's pray together. Hey, God, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for this time that we could fellowship together, that we could have a good time talking about different things and just sharing our crafts together. 
I pray, God, for those who have asked for requests today, you know each and every single need that was mentioned. And God, I know that you can be near and dear and close in every one of those things. So God, we just trust you. We place those people in your hands. And God, we just uh, pray that your will will be done in every situation. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Thank you for the time we could spend together with our friends, with our family. And God, we just rejoice in you every single day. Thank you again for all of our blessings and keep everyone safe till we get together again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. Um, I really enjoyed being with you guys today. I'm glad Vince was back. I miss being here. You didn't talk about your event. I was going to let you say. You got four minutes. Tell them about your event. Where well, you it was a turkey expo at Mark's Outdoors in um, Hoover, Alabama, as my is slurping on her drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> And they had a lot of great um, people that I watch on TV or you show on a YouTube. Picture of somebody you met? Uh, you can if you want to. Give me one. I'll show y'all. I don't mind dropping it that I got to meet Michael Waddell. He's so excited. He came back showing me pictures. He was so excited. You have to tell everybody who it is. Yeah, Michael Waddell uh, hosts a show, uh, several shows. He's the founder of The Bone Collector, which is a TV hunting show. Look how happy and old Ben is in this picture. Also, he has a show called Booger Bottom that's about his family. And they call the community that he lives in Booger Bottom. I call him the Booger Man. Even though Booger Bottom is not anywhere on the map. Where's the but, other ones? Is that it? Yeah, those are the only ones I had my picture made with. There, there's only one. Yeah, there was two pictures of me and him together. Oh, they you right side by side. I thought you had somebody else in a picture. Uh-uh, no, just him. And I got to meet Tommy Wilcox, who is a great uh, linebacker from Alabama, who's also a big turkey hunter. I got to meet... Uh, let's see who else did I meet. I got to meet Jimmy Primos from Primos Outdoors. Uh, and he's it's really just a cool name too. dropper today. Uh, let's see who else did I get to meet. The guys from Hounds Tooth Turkey Calls out of Tuscaloosa. It was you know great what? to see them again. I'm gonna say this, and y'all will agree. They got to meet you. Well, yeah, but <laughs> nobody knew <laughs> they got to meet that they Vinny. were meeting Vinny. <laughs> just you funny. know, but. And it probably didn't mean near as much to so, them as it did to me getting if, to meet them. Even if they're like, ooh, that guy has a craft store. <laughs> like, I'm sure they didn't do that. I'm sure they no, didn't do that. No. But um, I got to meet Eddie Salter, who's a world-famous turkey caller as well. A lot of really cool people for me to get to meet. He appreciated the day off. He appreciated y'all giving him the grace to do that. Yeah. And he had a good time. He came back smiling. He got here about 3 o'clock. And he was smiling from ear to ear. That's the time you told me to be back. I told him to be back at three. So I That's was right. gracious and tried to do what you asked me to do. Because he, he does exactly what he's told when he's told to do it. That is mm, not true. Sometimes. Not true. All right, guys. We love you very much. We hope you have a great day. Uh, be safe if you're around any storms today. And we will talk to you again Thursday on the live show. But you got my video Saturday. You got my Bible study Friday. Don't forget that one. That's on the heart group. You got Vince on Saturday. We're everywhere, y'all. You'll yeah, this, uh, those shows are mostly on the outdoor channel, uh, uh, outdoor channel, the sportsman guide and something else. I can't remember what the third outdoor channel I have is, but I love to, to, to watch those shows and really enjoy them. I don't want to start anything. Jill said she had no idea how big live turkeys are. They're huge. They're pretty big. They're much pretty bigger. Big. They're much bigger than what you see at Thanksgiving. They're big. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. We love you. Have a great day. Bye. See ya.